Hello, uh, welcome to Kloche Diary. So today uh, we are going to do a small NLP project. So uh, we are going to see if uh, two texts are how similar two given texts are. So that's the thing. So what well, what I have done is like okay, like uh, so uh, the gathering data. So like for that. I use the browser called links. Uh, it is a text based browser, right? So it gets only text. Okay. So like I can just put like, okay, like uh, links and then uh, yeah, I can just put, put this one, like close your diary. Right. So if I just put this, uh look it just gets and you just get it only as text and all those stuff right? so, so this is a, a text-based browser right? so i think i need to press q for quit right so this is the thing and uh, uh there is a, a a flag called dump in it so i can take wikipedia articles and dump it as text files like this so uh, <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, these commands, I'll just be putting it in my blog, right? So I've taken what to say um, text about cattle, that is cow, and then goat, and this is bolt, nothing but fastener, right? And then about apple, and then sewing machines. Now I'd like to see like how much cattle is related to goat, possibly ha how much cattle is related to sewing machine and all those stuff. So uh, that's kind of possible. So that okay like uh, okay and uh, 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 okay so before going for that so uh, we need some kind of uh, uh, word processing or something like that and uh, for that like uh, I took code from this blog like, <coughs> excuse me so uh, find out why people live longer using Trojan so over here like we are just taking an article like from the guardian and we are just finding out why people live longer right? uh and we are using closure for it uh this doesn't mean that people using closure are living longer i don't know like uh, uh software in industry is so stressful like i don't think many software engineers live longer so that's the thing and uh Okay, yeah, so uh, I, I've just taken this code, like uh, whatever I want from here, and I've put it in a file called wordprocessor.clg <coughs> over here. And yeah, like it has been changed a little bit. So, but that's if you uh, read that blog or follow that video, mostly you'll be able to see what's hap happening over here, right? and uh, similarly there is a thing called map operation so like uh, for that like uh, there are two blogs over here like uh, creating a closure library for map operations and find out magnitude of magnitude and unit map and closure so uh, these two blogs also i will link it so blogs or blog i don't know what to call it okay this is a blog and inside this there is a blog yeah, there is video blog right <coughs> so that's how it is right and uh, so yeah like uh, this map operations i've uh, put it uh, in a file called map operations.clg and uh, both these files are being included over here in uh, similarity.clg right and uh, this word processor has been included as wp and this map operations has been included as map op okay so that's the thing and what i'm just doing is like i'm just taking the word frequencies from the raw file like uh okay like uh, uh let me just explain this folder there is a folder called data and uh, the, and inside that there is a folder called raw so this contains all this wikipedia text that uh, links as links lynx okay as uh, has taken from from this uh whatever this apple url or something whatever it is like uh, is it? from this url where is this app yeah from this url right so it has taken all the text and just dumped it over here 
right so uh, that's the thing and uh, so it is uh, similarly for bold cattle goat and sewing machine so all these stuffs are there so i have taken the word frequencies over here and uh, <coughs> using the word frequencies function in the word processing library so that's all we need and all we just need to do is to do the map dot product so uh, let's go and do it i've already executed it and it's been loaded in my ripple so I've also what to say this executed this entire file and this entire file so that it has been loaded into my ripper. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to work. So yeah, of course you must know that. Okay, I'm just kind of somewhere between closure amateur and somewhere going towards closure professional. So uh, you must also be aware of that. So but yeah, please do spot mistakes and all those stuff. <coughs> right so okay so uh how much cattle has been related to goat okay so if you just do this dot product you just get some number so all these are just relative terms okay so uh so you just get this number and how much cattle has been related to sewing machine okay so yeah like cattle is more related to goat than it's been related to sewing machine right uh that's kind of obvious and uh how much bolt and sewing machine are related right it should be re related more right but we just see <laughs> see like bolt and sewing machine are uh what to say related very less compared to bolt and uh sorry sewing machine and cattle so that's kind of uh what to say a bummer for us and uh uh but yeah what to do yeah sometimes it does happen like, if you don't get the you don't get the right data it happens and we'll see like okay how we can rectify it <coughs> to a limit okay so that's the thing and uh, and how much apple has been related to swing machine in fact apple has been related more to swing machine than bolt okay so that's the thing and uh, apple and goats how much they are related in fact they are related very high like uh, almost next to cattle and goats okay so that's the thing and uh, so yeah so somehow like cattle you know what to say uh, goat and apple are seem to be more related and somehow like a bolt is not related much to swing machine, so we don't know why okay so that's the thing uh, but uh, now let's come to data cleaning so most of data science is about like data cleaning and uh, uh, it's not about like AI or ML at all. Uh, data cleaning takes a lot. So if you look at this one, this apple.txt, right? So there are a lot of stuff like main page contents and all these things that could be removed. Okay, so and there is a lot at the end too <coughs> that can be removed. So all these links like kind of useless stuff and uh, uh, these links can also be removed okay so that's the thing and uh, so that's what i've just done over here so like okay this file is like 1853 lines but over here if you just look like okay like it's 3000 lines or something like that so i've removed the un unneeded stuff over here similarly for bold cattle goat and everything right now uh, let Let's go to the similarities and uh, use the clean data over here right so and uh, this is the clean data and uh, let me just do this map dot product okay so uh, in fact like if you uh, wait okay uh, let me just take it out right? let me just put like okay, clean okay I don't know why this number we are just getting okay whatever it is right so if I just put clean and uh, uh, looks like okay now cows and uh, what to say or cattle and goat are related less compared to unclean but uh, we have showed that this is much more pure data okay so and uh, you'll see why <coughs> and cattle and sewing machines are related this much okay so that's the thing that is when the data is clean and bolt and sewing machines are related this much okay so for clean data 
and Apple and sewing machines are related this much. Still, Apple is more related to sewing machine than Bolt. So that's the thing. And but yeah, we'll we'll see the effect of cleaning very soon, right? And Apple and Goat is being related this much. Okay, so that's the thing. So all are okay. You might ask, what are these numbers? What's the unit? Like I don't know what's the, but all these are re related. So we know that okay, like. <coughs> cattle and goat are more related than cattle, cattle and sewing machines, right? So it's only a relative comparison, right? So now let me tell you the effect of cleaning data, right? So okay, so <coughs> now what we are doing is we are looking at the relationship between bolt and sewing machines for uncleaned and between like cattle and sewing machines okay this is for unclean so this is the ratio so when we execute it it becomes like 0 0.092 okay so for unclean data now for clean data somehow like bolt and sewing machines is almost like okay like 0.1 or something greater than uh, this one like unclean data so <coughs> so when you look at the ratio of uh, relationship between bolt and sewing machine to cattle and sewing machine for the uncleaned it's only 0.9 but for the clean it's 0.1 so cleaning does sorry it's 0 0.09 for unclean and it's 0 0.1 uh, so cleaning <coughs> does help okay so and it improves the quality of data science or whatever investigation you are doing. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a very bad throat infection. So, uh, 70 to 80 percent of all data science work is data cleaning, and uh, uh, that's why you make most. That's why you put most of the effort in data science, and it's not in the fancy algorithms and all those stuff. So yeah and that's the truth right so anyway uh thanks for watching so like i'm happy that okay look i'm just uh what to say uh putting one feet before another in closure and I've come up to nlp and all those things and yeah uh i will be doing more uh what to say research and see where i can go and anyway uh thanks for watching let's see you next week